Happy morning to one and all. Dream big and chase your dreams. One day it will come true. I am Dr. Bhavani Suresh, here in front of you, fulfilling my dream. I thank TEDx, Chennai Institute of Technology, for giving me this opportunity. And I am so proud to be on the stage as a woman to celebrate womanhood and voice out for women empowerment. Women empowerment is promoting women's sense of self-worth and their ability to determine their own choices and their rights to influence the social change for themselves and others. I strongly believe when women and girls are supported and educated, they gain opportunities to speak about themselves and also raise in their social standing. All of us have dreams, right? When I was a small kid, all my dream was to become a doctor. I still remember, I used to say to my father that I wanted to become an Ojitian. I wanted to bring new lives into the world. But once I completed my 12th, I got good grades, got sentiment max, and made it to a renowned government engineering college as my parents wished. But I was still holding on to my dream. Without a single hesitation, my parents supported and shouldered me to make my dreams come true. As always, all our family members and relatives were like, why you need to spend for a child? That to a girl child, instead of making assets. But my father said, I am making an assert. I am making my daughter as an assert for the society. After I finished my 12th and you completed my UG, I started my own online consultations during the COVID pandemic. I somewhat wanted to reach out to people who are suffering. But unfortunately, I didn't get any calls for a month. One day, it was about quarter to 10 at night. I received a call from an 82 year old man. He was my first patient whom I treated and he was the one who first believed in me. You know, it's really tough to make a patient trust a doctor. It takes a lot of time, patience and efforts to make a patient get comfortable and confident in you. Then two weeks later, to my surprise, I got a post. There was a thanking letter and a bouquet from him. That was the day I really felt celebrated for what I have done. And that was the day I started to get more calls all through word of mouth. I am proud that I am the first generation doctor in my family and I treat more than 100 patients in a month and I still keep doing it. Maybe a small step, but all you need is just one step to reach millions, right? Women are always considered in par with goddess. Pure has seen the idols have a lot of arms with each hand carrying different things. One has a katka, one has a trishu, one has flower and so on. It depicts a woman who has the capacity to do multiple tasks. It depicts a fearless woman who has the power to create, to nurture and to transform. Many would have thought that a billion dollar company could not survive after the death of late Siddharthas, who was a person who created the coffee empire. But his wife, Mrs. Malavika Hedge, worked hard and made and accomplished her company and reduced the burden of her company from 7,000 crores to 1,731 crores by 2021. And she still holds a proud legacy of her husband. All of us have a lot of inspiring stories and we have heard many of them since our childhood. For me, every woman out there is inspiring. After stepping into my profession, whenever I conduct a delivery, I really feel amazed. I feel amazed to see each and every pregnant mom in spite of heavy bearing down pain and huge blood loss, still they push out their babies with such a confidence and always wears a smile on hearing their baby's first cry. A woman not only fights during her labor, she even fights 
for our nation. Ms. Nikita Nazreen, a 25-year-old Indian amateur boxer, won gold medal at 2022 IPA Women's World Championship in Boxing. A 109-year-old Indian environmentalist has planted more than 8,000 plus trees over the past eight years. And she still is an inspiration for younger generations like us. Age is not a barrier for any women and it is proven by them. Despite gender inequalities in all sectors, women still try to beat the odds. By their innovation and compassion, they have become great leaders to inspire us in many ways. According to me, celebrating womanhood isn't just celebrating a woman individually. It is celebrating the individuality of every woman and their choices. They say, behind every man's success, there is a woman. But behind every woman's success, there should be her man, her society and the family. Because this society is inclusive of both men and women. With all support and encouragement, women should define their own destiny. Maybe the opportunities are less, but every one of us should understand the growing need to empower every woman who lack opportunities to be brave in the face of fears. And when every woman's voices are heard, heated and celebrated, our world will be a best place to live in. Last but not the least, I just wanted to say one thing. Every woman has obstacles in all walks of life. Don't waste your energy to worry. Instead, use your energy to believe, create, grow, glow, manifest and heal. Thank you.